let's just go! Hi, everybody! Who? We're playing Maria the Witch. Mario? This doesn't look Ma like Mario. Mario! Well, there's, 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 ooh, it's evil. It's Dollar Store Ghibli. Kind of feels like that, doesn't it's it? It's okay, oh. I can say that. Those game costs oh, wait. a dollar. Wait, I think old man Miyazaki just stole all of our shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> tap, Colin. Pull out your phone, tap on the screen. Whoa. Uh -oh. Whoa. Um. <laughs> what what did you do? Are you? Oh, oh, you're oh, oh you're so dead. I guess I. Oh, oh, oh I oh. see. Okay. All right. So this is a tap to go slightly forward type deal. Oh, well, I lost. Did you Man. crash to a cloud? Yeah. I got electrocuted. Well, I don't need that coin. What? Oh, th th thank you. Go there, Con. I did it. Whoop. Remember, don't hit the fluffy clouds. I have to get. Whoop. No, oh. No. Yeah, I did yeah. it. Yeah. I don't understand why Miyazaki. How Miyazaki. Oh. This is just like that other game, but it's this game. Eh. You know, this isn't as. Ah. Whimsical as I would have hoped. Con. It is almost too whimsical. These whimsy levels are off the chart. My is going nuts. My virtue... My I think you can land on that place to get a checkpoint, by the way. Are you sure? I think that's why there was an arrow pointing down at it. Oh, oh, I, I delivered Oh, it. you're a... You're a... a legally distinct delivery service. Oh, use a coin to buy this checkpoint. I don't have any money. Uh... This is, like, exactly the same as Rovio's retry game. Shit. And I lost the money that I had gotten earlier. So that's Need good. those coins, bro. Apparently. So but Yeah, uh, Rovio's, like, Flappy Bird response is called, like, retry or something. Works huh. exactly like this. I didn't realize I was I was being tricked into playing Flappy Bird again. It's not Flappy Bird, it's legally distinct Flappy Bird based on legally distinct from Miyazaki characters. So So there's that. Wait, wait, maybe I can <laughs> I did it. Yay! Checkpoint progress made. Hey there he is. A key! A key, great. To unlock the door he just put there. Oh, speaking of anime, you idiot. Which, um, so I saw a movie recently called Katema Inverted. It's stupid. It was really bad. Why is it stupid? What happened? It, um, so... Oh, oh. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Finish him! Cool. Alright. Neat. Um... But yeah, so Potemkin Inverted is romance, drama, whatever, about a place with like inverted grab two worlds, they each have different gravity, and a boy and a girl from each world like fall in love or whatever. But it is it is the best example of having a concept and using none of it. Because it it any potential they had for like like characters doing anything interesting. Wait, what is movie? What, what, what movie? Potema inverted, and it's about people from different worlds with gravities. Yeah, not not that other movie that they covered on the flop house. Upside down. Yeah, no, it's that. It's not that. They are amazingly similar, as there is also like classism and flying pancakes. No, and there's not a piss scene either. So then why why did you even bother? I know, right? You clear. Ah! Oh! I'm in hell. Well, I did not expect you to know. <laughs> just like I didn't just do boom. Colin, I'm really sorry, but you might be terrible at this. Possibly. But yeah, um, here's the thing with Potema Inverted. Every character is incredibly cookie cutter, but the main character, the Potema, the, the self-titled lady, she could have been replaced 
with a sack of potatoes and nothing would have been different. She Why not? She contribute anything to the movie. You know, just about any character could be replaced with a sack of potatoes and I would enjoy it better. Yeah, this, this it, it was a just movie to that have was... actors interacting with a sack of potatoes. It was a movie that was very guilty of... They assume that when you see a, a cute drawn girl character, you immediately care at all about her, even when that is not true. I don't think you need to go through there. I think that's like a bonus area. Is it? And I don't know if you're a bonus level, Colin. Maybe I am. Maybe like, I am. I don't know if you're a bonus class. Oh. Well, let's see. Can we go? Can we not go in it? Just go under it. And oh. underwater, I guess. You dummy. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Whoa, you're skipping it? No, I got it. Colin, you're skipping the checkpoint? There's another one over here. Colin, you're skipping you're skipping the checkpoints? Getting getting risky, getting risky, yo. Oh wait, I need that mail. It's a good thing I crashed. You need that mail? Colin, it's gross. Delicious mail. Well someone's mailing mayonnaise. I can't I can't help that. You you really could have. You know? Just be like, you know, I, I think there's a policy about just filling an envelope with mayonnaise and yeah. trying to mail it. Well, I guess you can't get that. He was like, no, mine. Oh. I harmlessly landed on the ground. Yes. That's okay. how most people die, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hit one of the two things. <laughs> This is an expert loop. Oh. Colin, why, why are you so bad at this? Because I don't care? <laughs> I don't know. This is your life now. Get used to it. This is all we're going to do on this channel. You're going to play Maria the Witch until you're the best person in the world at it. Why can't I play Yuria the Witch? Who? That lady from Dark Souls, or Demon's Souls. No one knows what you're talking about. Literally no one. Oh, shit. You're just like a crazy person who came in and shouted blah, 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 blah. I did it. You did it. You didn't do it. This game is... <laughs> the greatest game you've ever played in the whole world Have ever? Have you watched any cool movies recently? Uh, I watched an episode of Star Trek. Which one? The one with Khan. Oh. But not the movie. Oh. Uh, I've only watched the movie. The one where they found Khan, and he's real rapey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That show is sexist. <laughs> what, original Star Trek? Yes. I like... <laughs> so, so the, the ship that they find Khan on... Everyone's in these sleep pods wearing these ridiculous, like, Aquaman outfits. Uh-huh. They have, like, just these, like, chain scales over, like, gold clothes, basically. It looks really silly. And then... They wake everyone up on the ship. And... Only the men change into jump jumpsuits. The women are all wearing, like, scales and gold bikinis, basically. Great. And the men are wearing ridiculous bright orange jumpsuits. Great. Yep. Well, I mean, costuming is always kind of like that in Star Trek. But yeah, I don't know. I only saw the the, the movie with Khan. The, not the, um... Well, I did see the Benedict Cumberbatch one, but... The, um, original Star Trek II, Wrath of Khan. What's that about? Not what you'd expect. We're gonna watch it at some point, apparently. So. See, the real the real good Star Trek movie is Star Trek IV, The Search for Spock, or whatever. Oh. When they, had, when they or no, that's not The Search for Spock. Star, well, whatever. Star Trek IV is when they have to go back in time and steal some whales. I like that. Like, that's... That's what they're up to. 
they, they have to steal some whales. Let's watch it right now. Whoa, look. Whales, I think. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Colin, what do you think about those houses in the background? They look idyllic. Would you live there? No. No? Why not? Too idyllic. <laughs> Just, it's too nice? Yeah. Whoa, you did it! Fine. No, it only took think... you a million years. <gasps> Connie got a jackpot. I mean, well, he didn't. Hmm. Magnet. Clearly, I'm using my witch magic. So, why did Miyazaki steal your things? Eh, Have you probably... learned anything from this experience? It's probably because witches are bad people, and I've been stealing his mail. <laughs> and he's just like, fuck it, I will take the mail. You cannot deliver it. <laughs> you just got tired of your crap? Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> Colin, do you find movies about witches inherently offensive? Uh, yes. Why is that? Because I don't feel well represented. Are, are you a witch? Yeah. Isn't that obvious? From my, my witch-like charms and my cauldron? Uh, well, one of those things witches are maybe known for. <laughs> <laughs> but I cannot hear your cauldron, no. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Cauldron bubbling sounds. You know, a while back, I was listening to some stuff about the Scottish play. So just the Scottish... The, did Scotland only ha make one play ever? No. You just... You just can't... You can't say its real name. It's not Macbeth, is it? Ah! Oh! That's fine. We're fine. We don't... We're not putting on, like, a like a thing, so... It the doesn't Scottish matter if, play... Doesn't matter if it's cursed or not. <laughs> I'm but, an actor, I know about Macbeth. But you didn't know it was called the Scottish play. I clearly figured it out. That's what they call it, so they don't have to say the name. But, uh... Yeah, there's a bunch of interesting stuff about the witches in that. Oh, yeah? Well, like, one of the rumors about why there, people think there's a curse around it is that some, like, the stuff the witches say is, like, a real curse. Oh, really? And some productions, like, take a couple of their lines out. They don't just, they don't just, like, switch them around, replace them with dank memes. <laughs> no. But also, they're never called witches in the play. Hmm. So. Yeah. Uh, That's all I have to say about that. It's pretty interesting. With a totally uninteresting delivery. Ah, oh, shit. Why do you keep, uh, being dead? I don't know, she has a very weak constitution. She's like, oh, I hit this adorable cloud, I guess I'll just die. <gasps> this reminds me of an anime that I watched this past season that was actually very nice. Which one? It's called Flying Witch. What's it about? Flying Witches. Um, it's just about this... this girl that moves in Is as Is it about Harry Potter? It's about this girl that moves in as the town's resident witch, and she just sort of lives with that family, and it's interesting. There is no conflict in the show. Colin, do you want to read the new Harry Potter? There is no con- I'm going to ignore you and keep talking about the thing I was talking about. But Colin, so I have a thing to say. <laughs> I don't care what you have to say about this conflictless show. But it's really good. It's that sounds really... like a thing that Tumblr would like. It's really relaxing and nice and Which means fun. I can't like it. <laughs> Actually, I've not seen hide nor hair of it on Tumblr, so... Mmm. I guess, I mean, to be fair, my Tumblr is mostly filled with Steven Universe, Undertale, and or, uh... Uh, some other form of trash, but... Overwatch so everyone's trash. Tumblr. Yeah. Steven Universe, Undertale, and Overwatch, that, that populates... But Colin, the there's a new Harry Potter! Yeah, there is. And it, I don't understand it. What, what don't you understand about it? Do you know it? what, like, the plot is? Uh, it's his kid, and they're in America, and he has a sassy black roommate, and, um, 
it's I don't know. He starts a meth empire. I might got I might have gotten some of that mixed. No, that was about right. But they so it's about they like take the time turner back to like the books and change history. What? Which are things that I thought could not happen. But why? I don't know. But like one of the because you know forever uh, everyone's been like. But why don't doesn't anyone just either like Voldemort take the time turner back and you know ru- make himself win, or everyone else take it back and make it so Voldemort doesn't exist? And the reason is that time, like as we saw it in the books, it doesn't change time. Right. Like everything that happens with that, uh, you know, is what already happened. The, the future is is deterministic and all that. Yeah, so apparently that's not true. Oh, well that's stupid. Because they take it back in time and create an alternate history. That is breaking the rules of your own universe. Also, they went back like decades. So. Who, whatever. Yeah, also, people are complaining dumb. about how... Because, you know, they take go to, like, alternate history and there's, like, evil versions of everyone. Uh-huh. Implying that, like, everyone in that universe was just, like, a couple crappy things away from being evil. So, killing joke rules. Well, yeah, kinda. <laughs> well, Joker's idea of, of the rules. But that didn't turn out to be true. Well, that's why I said his idea. Sure. Cause he was anyway, gonna... are we done? Yeah. Okay. Bye, everyone. Uh, Colin. Okay, you hit the cloud. Good enough. I'm done with this game. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>